Hi, I'm Sun Huang from the University of Electronic Science and Technology of China. I'm glad to introduce our new work on the maximum weighted independent set. It's one of the most fundamental problems in graph algorithms and has been widely studied in social networks. An independent set is of a text set such that any two vertices are non adjacent in the graph. As you see in this figure, the set of vertices colored by green is independent. The problem we studied in this paper is to find out an independent set with maximum weight. For solving this problem, a considerable number of algorithms have been proposed. Here we show some recent works. They can be distinguished into heuristic algorithms and uh, exact algorithms. The heuristic algorithm can get a high quality solution quickly, but don't ensure optimality. Exact algorithms can ensure optimality. However, most exact algorithms just consider the complementary problem, maximum weighted clique. The click algorithms targeted at sparse graphs would likely work well for the independent problem on dense graphs. For solving this problem in practical large sparse graphs, we introduce some powerful reduction rules like unconfined vertices. We also develop a fast exact algorithm that benefits from our efficient reduction rules and uh, the important properties of confining vertices. Besides, we conduct experiments on several benchmark datasets and show that our reduction rules can be used to improve exact and heuristic algorithms. Let us talk about uh, the reductions now. The first one is heavy set. An independent set is called heavy. If there is no other independent set satisfying the condition here. As you see in this figure, the set of vertices colored by green is a heavy set. However, it's not easy to find all heavy sets in practice. So we only consider some special cases, which generates three rules. Rule 1 takes the sum of all vertex weights as the upper bound of independent sets in the neighbors to check whether a vertex is heavy. This rule is very trivial and also used in some previous works. Rule 2 considers no degree heavy vertices. In small graph, it's easy to find the best solution by enumeration. So, we can check these vertices according to the definition directly. Row 3 deals with heavy set of set 2. As row 2, we only consider no degree vertices here. Next, we take a row called critical independent set. The row is also used in many previous works. A set is called critical if the weight of the set minus its neighbors is the maximum one. It shows that all critical independent set is contained in some maximum weighted independent sets and can be found in polynomial time. For maximum independent sets, Shaw and Nagamichi introduced a concept called the unconfined vertex. Here we extend the unconfined vertex to weighted graphs, and it will become one of the most powerful tools in our algorithm. We use the following procedure to check whether all vertex is unconfined, or find the confounding set if not. A number of S is called child if it satisfies the condition in step 3, and if the size of NU seminar NS is equal to 1, then it can be called uh, extending, and the only vertex in the set is called a satinite. 
by the procedure, we get row 5. Unconfirmed tests include the dominant vertices and several other reducible vertices. It also can be used to design a branching row based on the number 1. Row 6 contracts a simultaneous set as a figure shows. For CS, if there is a maximum weighted independent set that contains either all vertices in S or non vertex in S, then the CS is simultaneous. We have two kinds of simultaneous sets. The first one is called module, also called train. A module is a set of vertices that have the same neighborhood. This is a classical concept used in many papers. Another one is derived from confined vertices, giving a set S. If S is a subset of the confounding set of any vertex in it, then S is simultaneous. The concept of alternative sets is first introduced by Shaw and Nagamich. Here we consider the general alternative sets in weighted graphs. An independent set is said to be alternative if there is a maximum weighted independent set that contains either it or its open, open neighborhood set. An alternative set can always be folded as the figure shows. The first case of alternative set talks about independent uh, neighborhood for a tag. If its neighborhood form on independent set, we say the overtake has independent neighborhood. And if the overtake satisfies the condition here, it must be up alternative. This case is also used uh, in previous works. Besides, we have other two cases that deal with degree two vertices. A degree 2 attack in 3 paths is said to be alternative if it satisfies the conditions in number 2. And if it's in a circle and satisfies the condition in number 3, it's also alternative. The last rule is about isolated vertices. A attack is said to be isolated if its neighborhood form a clique. The figure is an illustration of this rule. According to the rules, we can design a reduction algorithm. There are seven steps in our algorithm. Each step deals with some specific vertices or structures as the slit shows. We execute the seven steps iteratively until there is no attack can be reduced. We also design an exact algorithm. The algorithm uses a branch and a reduce framework, where we do reductions and branches alternatively. You can see more details in the paper. The source code of the implementation is available on the website. Now we show our experimental results. Our algorithm is compared with two heuristic algorithms, HILS and uh, Dynamic WC2, and an exact algorithm, ESMWS. Our tested datasets include a set of sparse graphs coming from SNIP and a set of real-world conflict graphs generated from OSM. The first experiment is to compare our reduction algorithm with the one used in ESMWS. We test on 21 hard instances never from SNIP and 10 from OSM. As you see, in all instances here, our reduction can get a smaller kernel 
and there are only five instances where our reduction used a little more time. This experiment shows the efficiency of exact organs. Here we use 34 hard instances that can be solved in one thousand seconds. As you see, our algorithm can significantly solve most instances in less time. This experiment uh, shows how our reduction algorithm can improve heuristic algorithms. We run the heuristic algorithms on the original instance and the kernel for further comparison. The time limit of heuristic algorithms is 1000 seconds. Note that for the heuristic algorithms combined with reduction, the time to get the best solution is the total time of reduction and the heuristic algorithm. The heuristic algorithms combined with our reduction produce higher quality solutions using less time on most instances. To make a full understanding of our reduction results, we do a breakdown analysis. The two figures show the number of tests reduced and the time used by each step respectively. We can see that for some OSM instances, step 6 takes a large part of time but contributes a little to the solution. So, for OSM instances, we may be able to further accelerate by giving up step 6. We also remark here that if we change the order of reduction steps, we may get results different from the figures. For example, if we apply step 5 to reduce unconfined vertices in the first step, then it will reduce much more vertices. However, the running time may increase. For future work, there are two directions. One is to develop more rules about no degree vertices to fully utilize the severity of practical graphs. Another one is to further study the property of unconfined vertices. This concept can be further generalized. That's all. Thanks.